Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Westeros Total War. We're playing as House Stannis Baratheon, House Baratheon on the Game of Thrones submod. This is episode 9. In today's episode, we're starting exactly where we left off the last episode, and we're going to be hopefully killing Edmure Tully here today. We're pushing into the Riverlands. We're sort of near Harrenhal, and we do outnumber him quite significantly. So how many loyal men of the Stormlands do we have? We've got three... So roughly around about, roughly around about 4,500 men from the Stormlands, and we're coming up against uh, Edmure Tully, also Jason Malister, prominent lord, and Clement Piper, one unit of Riverland Scorp uh, yeah, Scorpions, some Riverland Cavalry, these Riverland Swordsmen look really awesome. But we're fighting with Stannis the Manus, it is a 5 to 2 ratio, let's gut some fish. Don't mind a bit of trout. Obviously, a lot of river fishing in Australia is trout. I don't mind fishing from time to time. I don't do it that often, to be fair. But uh, rainbow trout is delicious. Right, let's get into the battle. It is a bit of a foggy day. But let's fight. Hopefully, we can kill Edmure Tully here today. Let's, got, let's get all our swordsmen and halberds here. Let's push up and go with my favorite quote. Simpsy Turtle War, hit <laughs> let's hit them, and hit them hard, let's show them no mercy, let's give them what we've got, alright, archers will pull just behind as well, okay, Stannis and more cavalry here, we have Monfred Valerion and Axel Florent coming in as reinforcements, let's start and quickly pause, have a look at our units, it's been a while since I've zoomed in, I think. Maybe not. I love how they're just showing their ass to the men of the Riverlands. I think they are. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I think they do. <laughs> but uh, here are our tr troops. There is Stannis Baratheon. Right, we have Axel Florent and Monfred Valerion coming from where? So Stannis is here. We have an army coming from my left. And then we have... Okay. We also have another army coming from the left as well. Let's have a look at Edmure Tully, the last trout. Uh, got some Frey Bannerman here, some Bracken, some Malister as well. Mooton, I do believe that sigil is. Not entirely sure. Where are those Riverland Knights? I want to check out them. Really do like House Tully, love the, the fish scale detail. These are the Armoured Swordsmen. Very good. And here is Edmure Tully himself. Okay. I think we should charge them. Show them no quarter. Give them everything. Alright. Let's push up there. Hang on a second. Not you. I just saw as I was falling these guys out that there's only 21 men in that swords unit. That'd be a bad idea, I think. Alright, let's get my cavalry up here as well. Let's move around. Okay, guys. Go, go, go. Catapults. Fire at will with flaming shot. Fire into the cluster, get everyone up on the attack. My catapults do seem to be in range, but I might get them to quickly halt. My longbowmen are in range as well. Hit into the cluster here. What, what side are my halberds on? Bugger. If they were on the other side, we would have been better. Raining fire and death upon them. What a shot there. We killed 1% with that one shot. Okay. Let's get my... Oh. I was going to say we should... Let's get my archers and my catapults just to halt for the time being. Actually, no. You can hit them at the back there. You'll be fine. Alright, draw your swords, men. Alright, what's happening here? Halberds going into them. Perfect. Where's my cavalry? Uh, what's this? Spearmen. Heavy infantry. Pull around this way. Where's my other unit? Oh, no! A lot of friendly fire there. Definitely not what we want. Let's get the catapults to halt. Get the archers to continue to fire against these Riverland swordsmen, though. But the front line is engaging. Oh, we need to neutralize those scorpions. Go for it, lads. Swing around and get in there. Go, 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 go for the scorpions. 
and their bowmen pull this way. Where's my other cavalry? Pull that way. What's this? Bowmen. That'll be fine. Run them down. Just once you push through the bowmen, get to the scorpions. Halberds are doing quite well. My reinforcements are engaging some of their cavalry. Let's have a look. Baratheons and Tully's at each other's throat. But they they brought it to us. I would have probably preferred to maybe make peace with the Tully's and the North. And Jason Malister is dead. Obviously a prominent lord in the Riverlands. We want Edme or Tully's head though. Maybe the Blackfish might be more inclined. Shit. Where were those 21 men? Come over here now. Go. Archers fire at these guys flanking. Oh, I'm tempted to push Stannis in, but it looks like a unit of Baratheon cavalry is coming in a diamond formation. We might get Stannis to hit the side after those bowmen and just... can quickly lose some shots off. Right, get Stannis in there. With me, men. Okay. How are we doing here? What are we fighting? Bowmen, that's fine. I don't mind you fighting them. Spearmen are coming in. Let's hit them from behind. Right. Stannis! Has broken the Tully Spearmen there. Very good job, guys. Right, we hit those Spearmen from behind. Continue to hit these bowmen. We we should be able to break them nearly. All right, let's pull this way. Let's get my archers to halt now and disable fire at will. All right, let's, we broke those spearmen. Let's swing around my cavalry here and start hitting these guys from behind that are still holding. Hopefully, we can cause a rout. Cavalry form up. Make ready. Go. Just need to watch out for friendly fire here. We've lost 16% of their 73. But we do have them on the back foot now. Let's break them down there. Get Stannis in. I told you those Riverland Swordsmen are good. They're holding on very well. But once we've taken out Edmure, we can push upon River Run. Where is Edmure? Is that him there? That's someone. I'm not entirely sure who. We have surrounded them, though, I think. We should be able to get them. He's running straight into Baratheon Halberds. That's one general there. He did. They did bring in three. There was Piper. There was a, a Malister which we killed. And Edmure should be somewhere here as well. He's in the middle. Someone's here, and someone's there. Oh, we've killed two generals. Clement Piper, and Edmure Tully, the Lord of Riverrun, is dead. His head is on a pike. Let's end. No, let's continue. Let's quickly decimate the entirety of his force. Nicely done, guys. It's interesting that the Tullys actually attacked me. <laughs> they marched on... I can't remember specifically what settlement, but they most definitely did it. Let's start speeding things up now. Or we'll bend the knee to the one true king, Stannis the Manus. Stannis Baratheon. Sorry about that one, guys. I got interrupted. Obviously, it happens from time to time. If you're a long-time subscriber, you do know I get interrupted quite, uh, quite a lot. But regardless, family comes first. I hope you guys understand. It doesn't really do anything. It's just more annoying for me when I sync up in the editing process. There's one more unit left. And we've pretty much decimated the entirety of... Uh, Edmure's force. So Stannis lost 611. Axel lost 1. Valerion lost 82 but killed 224. Edmure Tully lost his life. Deployed 1,727. Lost 1,653 on the field. There are 
So, what? 74 men remaining. Here are the casualties. Sustained and casualties inflicted. Dragonstone Knights, 133. Baratheon Swordsman, 103. What did most of the damage, the Swordsman? There was a fair bit of friendly fire in that fight, of course. Brienne of Tarth. Giving Catelyn Tully. Catelyn Stark. Um, her sword. Right. Okay. Prisoners captured. So we have... We, we, we captured Ebmure and Piper. We killed Malister on the field. We can actually ransom, release, or execute. We're going to execute Ebmure. We're not going to put his head on a pike. Like I said, we are going to put him on the pyre and burn him for R'hllor. Executed. The Lord of Riverrun is dead. And now the Blackfish rules House Tully. Okay. Who is this? Asha Greyjoy. Very well. Oh, we've taken Harold. I forgot we did. <laughs> I must have misspoke before. Okay, so the Lannisters still hold River Run. Right. It's because we pushed out from Harren Hall. Right, let's move back to Harren Hall now. Let's rally up. And maybe push upon salt pans. There's an arrow there's an Aaron fort here, Harold Hardly. Right, what's at Maidenpool? Just some generals and some units. Right. How are we going for men? We need more units here. Diplomacy wise, we have you, you, and you, right. Still got Raven Tree, I probably would like to take as well. We're making 1,800 per term. We need more units here. So let's get some Halberds. I would ideally like some more Swordsmen as well. We need to repair somewhere. No. Also, do need to build small churches where we can. Like, Harren Hall is going to be such a crucial powerhouse for us. A, what is it? A citadel in the heart of the Riverlands. Let's get some swordsmen from Dragonstone. And let's get some more swordsmen from Storm's End and some Dragonstone Knights to start things off. We'll get the Halberds from King's Landing because they're a little bit closer. Damn. A Rook's Crest, can we get some swordsmen? Yeah, we would. Sorry about that one, guys. We actually had a game crash. This mod is prone to crashes, but maybe I'm just a sort of a unique case study. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you've played Westeros Total War, the Game of Thrones sub-mod uh, version 4.0. Uh, if you've had similar crashing problems, the game does seem to be prone to crashes, which is unfortunate. But like I said, I'm sort of a unique case study. Obviously, I have a lot of programs recording in the background. I'm recording my gameplay with uh, Shadowplay on my GeForce graphics card. And also, Alt-Tab before uh, to quickly save my clips when I got interrupted. So maybe that's why it is. Maybe because I'm Alt-Tabbing a lot as well. Might be um, a reason, I don't know. But uh, let's end the turn and continue now. Okay, a huge development has just happened then. Okay, block the port at Widow's Watch. Up in the north, doesn't really concern me. A new family member. Ravella Florence. Okay, another daughter. My god, I'm sick of this. I'm happy that Stannis does have a son, Pierce, though. He will be king someday. War declared. House Aaron and House Tully. Very, very interesting. Now, does that mean the Aarons want some sort of an alliance? Harold Hardling is leading the charge against Wilder Frey. Right, let's negotiate with the Aarons. Would you like a... Wow. Okay, they don't want an alliance. Fair enough, I, I suppose. Okay, let's get more units here as quickly as possible. Okay, I did recruit some units at King's Landing. I did skip a turn, um, which I forgot. I just ended the turn then. So we are two turns ahead, technically. Right, so that's why all my um, units came in. Let's move my fleet from King's Landing to Dragonstone. And let's get my men to... Hmm. Should I get them to march or go on a boat? We'll get them to march to, like, here near the Blackwater, instead of pushing up 
uh, sort of baiting the Tyrells. Let's negotiate with the Tyrells now, actually. Would you guys want peace just for the time being? A ceasefire demanding. Obviously, we did kill Mesa's daughter, Marjorie Tyrell. Once we killed Renly and his children, his babes. Okay, right. There's a pretty large host in Raven Tree. Maybe if we send an army over to... I really wanted salt pans as well. Damn you. Okay, let's rally up with Stannis. Let's give Valerion some unit. Uh, give Stannis some units from Valerion. Uh, give him the Dragonstone halberds. They're better than the Baratheon ones. Okay, let's can trickly, uh, quickly control A M to merge, and let's give Valerion some of the units. The halberds are pretty good. What I've noticed in. The Game of Thrones submod. Let's march upon Raven Tree. Right, we need more units here now. I might keep Axel at Harrenhal for the time being. We need to get some more units up there. So let's get some Baratheon Halberds. They have 5 attack, 4 defense. I'd much rather them than the Spearmen who have 11 uh, defense and 1 attack. I'm a very aggressive player. So I would prefer the, the sacrificed armor than the attack stats. Let's get some more Dragonstone Halberds. How are these Spearmen? 5 to 14. These guys are very good. Yeah, not as... Oh. Obviously they're not textured. Maybe get some Sellsword Spearmen. They do cost a lot. 900 Dragons. By bloody hell, that's a lot. Might do a quick save here, because I just noticed that one of the placeholder images is glitched in here. Because sometimes that's even a, a little bit of a telling sign that there could be a crash. Wouldn't mind some more archers. I prefer the longbowmen than the crossbowmen. They want me to block Widow's Watch. What are they going to give me? You will be rewarded... Reward... Uh, fuck me. You will be rewarded with some of the best... Some Wait, what? Does it say the best? Or does it just say some military units? You'll be rewarded with some military units. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. I don't particularly care. Anything else popping up here? Faction announcements. What's happened here? Axel Florent has gotten some more traits. So let's cross our fingers and hope for the best now. We seem to be doing all right. Okay, let's move you guys up here. The Arons have taken salt pans. They still don't want an alliance or anything. Rosby and the Antlers still are occupied by the, Mar the the Martells. We might have to declare war upon them. Let's start besieging Raven Tree. Bring them down a bit. Right, we have those swordsmen in the Stormlands. I'll send a small fleet back to pick them up. And then we'll pop you over to Harrenhal. Right, let's move. Let's ferry some of my units across now. Perfect. Let's send you to Harrenhal. Quickly pull you back to King's Landing. How are we going? We're only making 500 per turn, so we can probably get probably one more Halberd there. Not much more, unfortunately. Eight turns until they surrender a lot of Rivelin Swordsmen. Okay. Not a crucial settlement, nor a prominent commander. We might ought to resolve the battle. Of Raven Tree, we'll just have to see. All right, get these guys to go to Harren Hall. Harren Hall. All right, let's quickly keep you there. Move the fleet back to Dragonstone. I forgot about those archers there. All right, fall you to King's Landing now. Okay, how are we looking, sort of order order resolve wise? It is a 2 to 1 ratio. Wyman Frey, 5 units of armoured swordsmen, 2 units of rivel and spearmen. It's a 2 to 1. We have what? Roughly 3,700 men of the Stormlands. If we wait a little bit longer, we're going to have some more reinforcements there. I don't know if I'm. I should... Oh, wow. 
Okay, the Lord of Castle Rock is dead. Tywin Lannister has fallen. That's not the end of House Lannister, is it? No, it's not. Wow, because Kevin died. We managed to kill Kevin not too long ago. House Joffrey's been destroyed, of course. And so has House Renly. Huh, so Kevin and Tywin are dead. Six turns until they surrender completely. I'm just sort of umming and ahhing because it's probably not worth it playing at the start of the next. We've been ambushed here by a bunch of rebels. Auto resolve. Axel Florent did well. Because I'm, I'm still. I don't really trust this auto, auto resolve. But I don't particularly want to fight it. We'll move Axel up. That'll help. And then we'll auto resolve. More units coming from King's Landing. How are we going money wise? Money wise, 700 per turn. I obviously don't want Harren Hall to. Uh, Revolt. We could spend some money on a church. Get that religion conversion up. How is our religion conversion here? 28%. I'm just curious to, to see in some of my provinces here. It's probably a good idea putting a church in Storm's End and in King's Landing. 52% at Dragonstone. Let's end the turn and continue. Let's renegotiate some more diplomacy. Yeah, they still don't want a ceasefire. And I'm assuming... The Arons don't want an alliance unless we give them some territory or something. Regardless, let's quickly chuck in these halberds here. Let's move up Axel. If the cavalry's in range to reach, I might chuck you guys in as well. But they're not going to, unfortunately. Right, let's quickly pop you guys into Harren Hall here, and we're able to recruit Baratheon Swordsmen and Dragonstone Knights here. Which is great. Okay, let's move my Diplomat somewhere else. I do want to ne negotiate with the Tullys at some point. They do have Fair Market. Where is this? Titus Blackwood. Fair enough. Let's get Stannis now to take Raventree. It's a 5-2. to two. We have a lot more better odds. We have roughly, what, 4,500, roughly around about 5,500 men. Can't be bothered doing the math exactly. Okay, so Stannis lost 593 troops. Uh, Frey deployed 1,197 and lost 783. You're most welcome to pause and have a look at the casualties sustained and casualties inflicted there. We've taken Raventree. Let's sack. Boost up our economy just a little bit more. Let's repair. And continue on. Let's rally back up. Stannis needs some units ASAP. Thankfully, we do have some more swordsmen here. And halberds here and whatnot. Let's send some of these halberds back here, maybe, and some of the spearmen. To keep the populace happy in Harren Hall. Okay. So the Lannisters look like they have River Run and maybe a couple of settlements over here. So the Tullys are really pushed back. Let's have a look now, shall we? Let's have a look at territory and have a look at the Tullys. The Tullys have four settlements left. Really? Let's actually have just a look at the stats around Westeros. I'm pretty curious. Territory isn't very giving. So, military... The Tyrells have the biggest. I have the second biggest army in Westeros, but the Tyrells are decreasing significantly. I don't think I'm even attacking them that much. The Lannisters, we've only just overtaken. Production, we absolutely smash everyone in. Check out that boom. Territory, financial. We are ahead. Population, the Tyrells have it. But in saying that, we have three... Uh, crucial set of uh, territories in Dragonstone, King's Landing and Storm's End. But guys it is time to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to continue to push into the Riverlands and destroy the Tullys. The Arons are now at war with them so maybe that they might help us. Still got to deal with the Lannisters as well and the the Tyrells. We're probably going to be pushing north at some point as well. Rob Stark wants to steal the northern part of my kingdom 
and he's the only other king in Westeros. I'm, I'm assuming the traitorous Greyjoys, you can never trust them, will declare their kingship at some point. So episode 10 is next. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And stay tuned for more content on my channel. My name is Ben Simpsy. Take care. Goodbye.